Good morning, Magandang, Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Wednesday, and it is Bill Day 320. Yes, Bill Day 320 on the construction schedule here at Villa Feliz. Today, we have the same people that we had yesterday. The one crew, the one uh, carpenter that we lost yesterday, he still hasn't returned. I understand he wasn't feeling good yesterday. I guess he's not feeling good again today. So again, we have a limited crew here this morning. I am going to try to get my hands a little dirty today. There are several things that I wanted to get done yesterday that I wasn't able to get to because of other commitments. And it's going to be a slow start for me again this morning because as you remember, uh, we had the annual meeting and they elected new board members and I was one of the board members on the Homeowners Association that was elected. Uh, one, of the, one of the responsibilities of the board members here is to convene when it, there is any type of issue that needs a uh, decision on how things are run on a day-to-day -day basis here in the subdivision. And one of those, one of those situations came up and we have sort of like an emergency board meeting. Uh, we, we have to discuss a topic about the subdivision here this morning. So uh, that is a nine o'clock meeting, which is in about 15 minutes from now. So I need to run over to that. Then when I get back from that, we will focus on some of the building that's going on here. Uh, I think I'm going to try to do, uh, I might do some grouting today. I also have to finish up those screws on the deck rails that weren't uh, completed by our carpenter uh, last week. So those are two things I will try to get started on today when I come back from that board meeting. So anyway, let's go ahead and get today started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Well, anyway, it is just before 2 o'clock. Uh, the meeting this morning took three hours. It was from 9 until 12, and I came back and had some lunch and doing a little bit of catch-up here, but uh, not a lot of video this morning because, remember, we only have four workers here today. Uh, the emphasis of today's work is on that door in the garage. Our, our worker, uh, one carpenter out of three, the only one carpenter that's here today, he is working on that today. I have to go get some hinges. I forgot to get hinges for the internal door that go inside there. We have another challenge with the door in the door on the garage. Uh, let's go down and take a look at that real quick. So let me walk outside so it's easier. We don't have the echo that's inside the garage area. So you see we have an opening right here, but the door that they fit that's around the corner right there, it fits right inside there. They didn't make it larger and they didn't make a door jam. There should be a door jam inside the door for the door to fit. All we have is a space which would give us a gap around all four uh, edges of the door. Uh, there's a couple of approaches that we can do with that. We can e either make our own door jam if we can go back to the uh, the carpenter shop and see if they have some more yakal left over so that we can actually put a door jam on the inside and fit the other door inside here uh, so that we have a nice finish on the outside of it. Or we can do another astragal like we are going to do on this one. We can do ironworks that go around there as well. Uh, my carpenter was thinking about doing some wood trim around the outside of it, but that wouldn't work good. That would actually uh, detract and make it look really cheap. We don't want to put any molding. Uh, he, was, he was proposing just sticking a little bit of wood molding around there. Uh, and we want to stick, if we're going to put any type of wood on the inside for a door jam, 
we want to use some more of the uh, yakal so it matches this right here so i have to go back i have to settle my my bill with our carpenter at the uh, wood shop that built the doors here and while i'm down there i'll ask them if they have any leftover that we can use to do the framing on the inside for a door jam on remember on the inside if not we will do the iron work and we will do in the iron work solution with the t that goes along top bottom bottom side and side over here too um i, I, th I would really rather have a door jam uh, so let's go see what they have well, what I just did, I just did a short uh, list of all the outstanding items or most of the outstanding items on the house that need to be accomplished to call it complete a completed build. It's a list, I don't know, I think I found maybe 15, uh, 15 to 20 items, I don't know, maybe less. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile a to-do list with a check mark on all these items. Now, now my builder assured me that all of these items that are outstanding right now will be completed um, um, by the end of March here, 100%. So what we are going to do, we're going to take this checklist and as each item gets completed, we'll do a check mark. Uh, remember, when we did the uh, couple of the items that I have real big concerns about are the two CRs, uh, the, the finishing, the tiling of the CRs. You remember uh, our tiler took about six weeks to complete <laughs> the small CR inside the basement. Now, uh, we have the two CRs on the first floor and the second floor are two to four times the size of that CR inside the basement. Is that gonna get done in three weeks? Hmm, we'll see. Uh, so we will use this as a metric and we will gauge how much work gets done over the next three week period. And you can follow me as we are checking off these items, hopefully. Well, let's just do a walkthrough and what I'll do is I will snap a picture and we will add that to our checklist as we are going through the final completion of the build here at Villa Feliz. Uh, I'm on the lanai on the back porch of the house where the barbecue area is. So although uh, it's going to be for the entire house as far as patios and, and tile work goes, all the tile work has to be grouted and the outside around the, the epoxy pebble work that's got to go around the outside needs to be completed as well as well as the drains need to be installed. Uh, uh, we're just gonna say for grout work, we're gonna just say grout work for the entire house. And that includes the inside because we have no grouting done on the inside of the house. And we also need to have grouting done on all the patios, which consists of this patio, that lanai, that lanai and the front porch area as well. Out on the front of the house or on the side of the house, all the retaining walls, the retaining walls all the way around uh, need to have the top completed, the finished top. It's going to be like a T ledge. We have a planter, uh, a one meter by one meter planter here and a one meter by one meter planter there completed as well. The driveway, the driveway with all the grass blocks and that is going to be uh, vibrating compressed gravel, uh, putting the sand down and putting the grass blocks need to be complete so we can drive into the driveway. Just, look, just looking over my shoulder right here, the fencing area, uh, all the, the trim work uh, that goes on the edge that gives us that small ledge all the way around needs to be completed. Each one of the columns that we have here has to have stonework done. On the outside, you notice we have all the lights on the inside. On the outside, all of the uh, remaining lights, the 13 lights have to be completed. Uh, we're not going to add the, the uh, fencing or the gates or the gates in the front, the two gates that we have up there, uh, because that is going to be done on my ticket, on my dime. I've already contracted another company to come in. That's our Ironworks people. Uh, so we're not even going to throw that on his plate. Uh, let's see what else we have to do. Remember the tiling, all the tiling for all the stairways, both here and on the front of the house for the stairs that take us to the walkway on the front of the house. Also, up here, there is supposed to be an awning. We have an awning that has to be installed with pergola. We're supposed to have pergola up here and a one meter awning that goes over the top. That still has to be completed as well inside the house inside the house we need to finish the steps uh from the first floor to the second floor we're almost there that'll probably be the first thing that gets closed and that's the steps and again the ironworks the ironworks are going to be on my dime on my ticket because that's part of the contract that i have with our ironworks people the cr on the first floor uh tiling 
uh, all the tiling for the niche inside there. Corner bench that's going inside here. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I think we're putting it over there. Um, the tiling for this portion of the top of the ceiling, all tiling. And uh, installation of all the plumbing. Uh, the vessel sink, they installed the, uh, the, the faucet already. I think they did that today. And again, the water closet right here. Uh, the granite that has to be installed and the glass, all the glass work inside here has to be completed. On the second floor, on the second floor, the entire CR inside here, all the tile work, uh, the niche, the installation of the glass for the two glass areas, windows that are going to look into this portion, installation of the water closet, uh, installation of the tub and the faucet back here. Again, I said all the tile. Also inside of here, we have to get the, the doors that are made, the doors and the drawers for the vanity inside here. Still, no uh, tile adhesive for the, the base of the vessel sink, so on both of the vanities. And the shelf work inside here and the doors for the linen cabinet here. Again, also, throughout the entire house, we still haven't finished installing a lot of the service outlets and the switches, so those have to be completed as well. Uh, pretty much mostly done in this area right here. On the outside of the house, we need to get away from bottles and culverts and completely do the washout, uh, the clean out, the clean out for the septic tank, for the small one here. We have one that's already got is a screw on cap for the one that's inside the main one for the house in the back, but it's buried on the ground under probably about 30, 40 centimeters of soil. Uh, when we need to clean it out, we'll have to dig out to get to those access points. Uh, but they, they are protected back there, but these two still haven't. Uh, we don't want to leave this for our front yard. That's an eyesore. Installation of the sump pump basically is setting, making sure that it's cleaned out inside the sump. We are going to do a waterproofing and running the power cable into the uh, pump room over there for power. Also, what we want to do is we want to put something on the very bottom, maybe a culvert with some grooves inside it so that the sump itself, the sump pump itself, does not fall over. And once all the building materials are removed from the basement, we have to do a cleanup. The floor has spilled paint, spilled stain. Uh, there's a lot that has to be done on these very nice towels that we have in here. Uh, my builder said he was going to protect the, the floor to make sure we didn't have any, mm, any damage. Uh, we did not get any of the uh, hardwood down or plastic or anything or tarps. Uh, so it's going to be an effort. It's going to be an elbow grease effort trying to get all of this uh, tile clean. I don't think it can be done in one day, but we'll see. Installation of the handrails in the stairway. Finishing up of all the molding, the shoe molding inside the garage to include the finishing. And of course, once all is completed, site cleanup. You know, that's going to be a day in itself, and that's going to be tearing down the small bunkhouse, which is nothing, which is just a little bit of a makeshift scaffolding that we have here and any debris that's left around the site. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a cleanup, but the cleanup has to be everything. All the debris has to be removed and it is ready for turnover to the homeowner. Well, that is most of the items that is going on our checklist. Uh, we, will, we will maintain this checklist and we will visit day by day by day. And we will see if we can get all of this accomplished in about three weeks. All right, well, let's take our trip into Lipa and bye, bye. <laughs> let's take our trip into Lipa and uh, get the supplies that we need and uh, take care of that garage door bill
I don't know if you can see it in the video, uh, but up there, can you see the moon? It is so bright, even with the daylight hours here. We're going, we're approaching a full moon. I love it here when it's a full moon because it's, it's nice walking out here down the streets in the evening time with the dogs. And it's just so very comfortable. Anyway, I am back from a killing. I was able to pick up the door hinges for the door and the door for the garage. I was also able to pick up the uh, deadbolt. I got a deadbolt with a key lock on both sides and not with the turn latch. And you're probably saying to yourself, what, you've already installed deadbolts in all of your exterior doors. And why do you need a second uh, deadbolt? Well, let me show you why. Uh, if you have any doors that have glass, uh, such as this French door right here. Uh, you see we have glass here. Well, even if you have this tempered glass, uh, there is nothing that's going to stop a would-be thief from breaking that glass out, even if it's 10 millimeter. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a determined thief, he's going to find a way into your home. So one of the precautions that you could take is do a double uh, double deadlock right here. Do the standard one for your normal day-to-day -day activities, but at nighttime when you go to sleep, you can put another one that has the 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 um, key lock on this side, and it will also have another key lock on this side as well. That way, if the if the the bad guy breaks the glass and tries to put his hand in here, he doesn't have the key to open the secondary lock. That's just another layer of security inside your house. Um, let's go ahead and see what was completed today. Uh, we'll, we'll do a wrap up here. Since I was gone most of the day, my time was really obligated today with the, uh, the Homeowners Association uh, meeting that we had, which we're going to have another one tomorrow as well. And also with doing some for shopping for some supplies for the house and things like that. Uh, I didn't get to do a lot of things I wanted to, but sometimes uh, you just work the best you can with your own time management. And uh, I, I put off some of the things until maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. Uh, so let's look what got accomplished today. So as I mentioned yesterday, we had the, the second flight of stairs completed for the final coating of the, uh, the finish for the mahogany steps. And, and they had only done the sanding uh, after they had done the, the sanding uh, primer that they put on there. Uh, today they went ahead and put the final coat on this as well. So we're looking really good here. That's one of the things that got done on the first floor. I also noticed there was some activity back here in the CR. We haven't seen uh, activity back here in a long time. What it looks like to me, uh, we have our faucet installed. The hole is drilled for the vanity sink that's going inside here for the vessel sink that's going to be here. That was done, but I think that's all that was done back here, but I think we moved a little bit forward on that. And down here in the basement, uh, there's an echo in here, we'll walk outside, but you can see we have the door, the mountain on the hinges, and as soon as my carpenter gets the hinges that I picked up today at McKilling, uh, he will do the mounting of this door right here. And this is what it looks like from the outside here right now. Uh, beautiful Yakal wood. And the ironworks folks came by, and that was one of the reasons why we're running so light right now. We did uh, the signing of the contract, and we defined some more requirements that we have here at Villa Fleas, specifically for the garage doors. So what we're going to do, uh, we are going to make some custom handles. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but you remember the little spikes on the top of the fencing? We're going to make our own handles that go over here. We're going to have flat plate that goes back over here. On top of the flat plate, we're going to have a little bit of an extension, and we're going to have a handle inside here. And on the top of the handle and on the bottom handle, we are going to do those spikes in opposite direction. And the astragal that we're going to put is going to go across here. It's going to be three inches wide, and it's going to go down here. We're going to define some rivet points inside, and they're just going to be decorative rivets for aesthetics. And then we will have counterset screws that go inside on one side in between those decorative rivets that will be uh, covered up with a little bit of paint, so you shouldn't even notice the screw inside there. So the eye will focus on that medieval-looking rivet. Also, that's those same spears that we're using here. We are going to do the decorative faw uh, hinges that go here and they will be a little bit wider right here they will come down and then we'll we will take 
the spear on the end down here and they will grind the back of that, of that spear down so it's flat hooked up to that flat bar and it will look like a it will look like a hinge like an actual function hinge but it's really just there for decoration then one more thing we defined we are going to do security bars uh, we're going to do four inch spacing security bars on the door right here for the window for this all four of the window sections here as well now something i did today i stopped by the woodworking shop uh, the, the woodworking shop that actually produced these doors right here and I explained to them that they didn't include any kind of a door jam inside this door right here and I don't want to do the astrical here like we're doing here I really don't want to do that what I would like to do I would like them to provide an additional piece we will make our own door jams or they will make it for us basically we will extend halfway out on this door right here we will do a piece of wood that sticks out maybe i don't know, you know a couple centimeters three centimeters something like that and as the back side will stay like this and then what we will do we will make a cutout of the door inside there so it'll be like an l shape come out and over like this and we will have a door jam and then we will do all the attachments from the side in here as well and then we will put a lock on the inside i did not pick up the lock for that door today oh Oh my goodness, I forgot about that. I have to make another run tomorrow. Oh, I bought two locks, but the locks were for uh, the, the doors on the first floor. Anyway, okay, not a big deal. We will make a road trip tomorrow into town. It's a short trip. What we also had done today, we had the finishing uh, um, crew member do the shoe molding, uh, the, the molding that's along the, the base of the floor and the wall. And he did the finishing on that because a lot of the molding that was in there, we identified to him. It looked like it was just nailed in with some wood putty inside there, that natural wood putty. And you can see it, it was obvious. What he did, he did all. He went over all of the uh, the molding, the shoe molding on there. And it's act, it looks the color of the mahogany doors now. So he mm. did a great job of that. And he did some other touch up on some of the trim work in there as well. Uh, that Other than that, and the sanding the, the, that went on here, the stair, the stairs, the, the garage door, some of the uh, the, the molding, and uh, our, our visit by our ironworks. That was the primary focus of work here today at Villa Feliz. Well, tomorrow is going to be Thursday, and it's going to be build day 321. <laughs> yes, build day 321 at the construction schedule here at Villa Feliz. I think it's going to be a lot of the same today. The ironworks won't start for installation for tomorrow because they just received all the money for purchasing all the materials and they will start the assembly and they will do the installation. I believe they said starting on Monday. So they will probably install five plus panels uh, on Monday for our fencing. So we'll, we'll be moving forward on that as well. But everything is moving uh, forward and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully my builder, like I said, hopefully he brings additional crew members out here on Sunday and we can start working on these retaining walls. That's an important thing for me to get out of the way before the rain starts coming down and we start getting all the soil on the other side dribbling down and looking like this over here. Oh, no. So anyway, we're going to close for today. Uh, we're going out uh, to get something to eat. We're going to grab a bite to eat. I don't know where, um, but maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll take you along. And at, at the end of the video today, maybe we'll put it after the credits if we do that. Uh, so anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart over in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed and you will be notified the next time we upload a new video. So until tomorrow, you have a wonderful and blessed day. Mm -hmm.